I'm one of the lucky people that uh, is able to to have their passion as a way of life. You know, uh, very young, uh, I was very decided to make jiu-jitsu my way of life. Since when I was 19 years old, I went to the to the UK with my brother uh, with the with the dream to be able to live out of this out of out of this world. And then with this motivation, I started to push myself to to improve myself uh, in a daily basis. You know, to to also. And not just me as an athlete, but also uh, as, a, as a teacher, you know, because obviously a few years back uh, there was not much going on uh, around the UK and, and in Europe. So I, I saw that, you know, the people who are here need to make, the, need to spread the Jiu Jitsu around. And then I've been very fortunate to have many opportunities to teach around Europe and in the UK. And today I have many friends, so many different locations around this continent. And uh, now we are here on our third uh, VB XP or Summer Camp, which is something for all the Gracie Bahas uh, around Europe or even anywhere in the world. They all, everybody is really welcome in a vast country. We have so many different diversities of, of things to do. You know, we've got uh, you know the, the mountains, we've got the sea, we've got the great food, and the amazing hospitality for the for the Basque people and the Spanish people. You know, like uh, so, things like that makes me feel so happy to continue to do my work. And you know, I believe like in our in our cause, uh, jujitsu is for everyone. We will see so many different people, families together. You know, for young generation, for the older generation, women. You know, so everybody is really welcome here, and that's the, the focus of the camp. So. I'm really glad to be part of this. I'm excited about the start of the camp. It's our third year in a row here in Irun. So many people that came on the first day, they are still coming every year, which for me, I feel very honored to have the loyalty of all these people coming over. And they are telling their friends, they're telling their mates, and they're all coming over as well. So we are growing the family, and I think that this is the really uh, good spirit to, you know, to have a good time on the mats and off the mats. You're gonna have so many different activities, you know, like surfing, paddle boarding, kayaking, you know, even barbecuing in the mountains. You're gonna have a bunch of great activities coming up. My journey to become a teacher in Jiu Jitsu uh, happened really early, for, especially for the need of the, of the location, you know, that was not much going on and then I was a purple belt when I started taking classes and, and ever since I developed myself as an instructor. And I noticed when I was younger, uh, I never really uh, excelled in something to be able to share, I was just a kid, and, but I, I, I could notice in myself the feeling that I had when I could actually explain something to someone that they would actually uh, start doing it straight away or like they, they learned from something that I could actually share. It gave me a big pleasure. I actually felt something in my heart, you know, like man, that's it's amazing something I could say and it could change someone's mentality. They actually would learn from me. So it's inside of me to share because the more I share, the more I learn. The more I learn, the better I get. So that means some people get concerned by sharing, but I don't feel concerned whatsoever. I have very, I'm a clean sheet. When I go to a seminar, when I go to a, a class or a camp, I, you gotta expect me sharing everything that I know, because that's the way I think we all can grow and develop. So that's it, guys. I'm ready to teach today, and I'm really excited, and I, and I hope to see many of you guys eventually on the mats. You know, when I think about Gracie Bach, I remember about my first opportunities and how. I, I I was welcomed into the to the team. All started back in, in Recife, where I come from, and then I very soon got the opportunity to to engage with everybody else from the Gracie Baja Matriz, which is the, the the one in Rio de Janeiro, where I met many friends and many people who actually helped, you know, our development as a as a jiu-jitsu competitor and also a jiu-jitsu jiu -jitsu teacher. Uh, but Gracie Baja for me goes beyond that. I think. It's a, a team who is focused 100% in Jiu-Jitsu for everyone mentality. I put my trust to know that if I put myself as a competitor, I could reach a, a good career, 
but also I would have a next step and a next step inside of the team. So I could see that the mentality of the team, it is to grow Jiu-Jitsu, to develop Jiu-Jitsu around the world in the best quality as possible. And then that goes not just on the mats, you know, that is a lot of things that goes behind the scenes that make it so good the Jiu-Jitsu for everyone mentality. So many people, so many students of mine can see that they can actually commit to Jiu-Jitsu, commit to Gracie Baja, and they will follow a career path inside of the team. I have several students who came from nothing to now be able to, you know, conquer uh, life, life goals through Jiu-Jitsu, through Gracie Baja, and through like uh, our, our methodology. And, and I think that's what really is so important. It's, it's a key factor in order to grow a Jiu-Jitsu for everyone mentality, which is what we stand for. So <clears throat> that's one of the most important things about Gracie Baja, and I'm really proud to be here.